Greetings, useless people, and soon the freaks. Welcome back to Alice Madness Returns. Now, this is a much better place where to start an episode. We are welcomed by Wonderland Alice, rather than our world Alice, in the Veil of Tears, where Alice will begin her fourth trip into Wonderland, because as we saw last episode, which was more like of an introduction, we got to know by our trusty Cheshire Cat that there is a new rule in Wonderland once again, and since that new rule is not Alice, well, once again, we'll have to deal with it in the way that we know best. But so far, let's enjoy this uh, beautiful landscape of the Vale of Tears. It's really one of the best of the game. And this is a statue of Alice crying. It's not the first time that we see this. Uh, we already met a similar statue in America McGee's Alice in the Pool of Tears, a very foggy place, at least compared to the bright green Veil of Tears that we see so far. Hello, I remember you. Ah, she disappeared, she tricked me. If you leap from that table again, Alice, I'll expire. Ha! You're two times too reckless, my girl. You can't tell me what to do, mom. This is the real me. This is not a phase. That was Alice's mom. And yet another memory. Well, at first the memories are really easy to collect. Amanita muscaria, Alice, is merely a stinky toadstool. A spongy consistency, but poisonous. Bet you didn't know that I can jump on the mushrooms, Dad. That was Alice's dad. These are all memories connected to her family. And look, drink me. Well, don't mind if I do. I've been down this road before. Good things in small packages? Though lacking a bathing costume, a plunge in that pool is in order. My god! I'm shrinking in this potion! Sh shall I disappear? Almost. But the upside is that while smaller, you can see things that are nearly invisible to your bigger self. Ah, I get it, quite. Forests for the trees, just the other way round. Short-sighted is more than a matter of perspective. Thanks to this liquid, which I don't know if it's... Nah, it's too purple to be wine. Grape juice, maybe? I don't know. We will be able to shrink. Well, Alice will, I don't know you. We will see hidden hints written on walls and on the ground, for example. That looks like the Duchess and a basket. The first time that I played the game, I shrunk in front of the Cheshire Cat who looked quite hungry. <laughs> I thought, oh no, the cat now wants to eat me. <clears throat> well, he's our ally, but you can never trust anybody in Wonderland. Look how small she's become, all curled up. She's barely there, I'm fixing in her hidey hole. That was a memory from Dr. Wilson. The doctor that, I won't say healed or cured Alice in the asylum, because we know uh, how Alice got rid of her madness uh, through the events of American McGee's Alice. Now we can enter in these keyholes, uh, which often are uh, to find memories uh, or bottles, which are artwork, so they're stuff to collect. And while Alice is shrunk, she hiccups. Uh, I don't like these animals. What are their names even? Snails? Sorry, I'll take the teeth. The teeth are the currency of Wonderland, meaning that when we will have enough teeth and weapons, actually, we will be able to upgrade those weapons. But so far, we have nothing. Ah, I see a memory over here, though. I saw the hidden sign. I'll never have more fun alone than when I rode the big slide in Hyde Park. Papa will take you soon, Alice. That was again Alice's uh, sister, Litsy. Ah, and here we are in one of those mini-games, uh, the slide. I can break these shells, but only if I have a weapon. But I don't have a weapon yet, so... Okay, Alice, I'll try to be your co-driver. Be careful. 50 left. And 50 left, hairpin right. Collect teeth. Yeah, this one is uh, rather easy. It will be the ones uh, in later levels that will have dangers. Oh, whoa. Was I supposed to land so far away? I think I was supposed to land here, but Alice is very aerodynamic. And now we see immediately that 
Our beautiful Veil of Tears, there is something wrong. Looks like a river of blood. It could be all the blood that we shed in American McGee's Alice. Or maybe it could be the blood of a certain creature that we slain in American McGee's Alice. That's the skeleton of the Jabberwock. The penultimate boss of American McGee's Alice. The Vorpal Blade is swift and keen and always ready for service. I've not come back here looking for a fight. Really? That's a pity. One's certainly looking for you. The Vorpal Blade goes snickersnack. It leaves them dead. As seen in a previous poem, and we can see the remains of the Jabberwock. This will be, in my opinion, the strongest weapon of the game. It was the weakest weapon of the game in American Megizales by Jabberwock. But in this one, in my opinion, it's the strongest. Another memory. Flight or fight implies a permanent choice. But flight often just means putting off the fight to another day. Choose your battles wisely, Alice. I choose to fight these defenseless shells. You also collect uh, roses from the shells uh, and from the enemies as well. That's basically Alice's health. First of all, get out of here. Let Queen Alice pass. Thank you very much. I don't even need to thank you. It was an order. Ah, first enemy of the game. Insidious ruins. There will be many types of ruins. I will just call them ruins. These enemies were inspired by No Face from... Ah, that's a Studio Ghibli movie. I don't remember the name. Spirited Way. I used to call these enemies shit dolls. <laughs> Gross and evil in a single monstrosity. This is Licey Slicey. These are kind of the weakest enemies of the game. And the Verbal Blade so far is a bit slow and sluggish, but it will improve. It will be much faster and much deadlier, thanks to the teeth that we are collecting. Well, these enemies are not a good sign, but the fact that the Jabberwook dissolved for sure is for Alice's mind, because it means it won't respawn probably in this game, huh? A flower's purpose is simple and immutable. Human purpose is fickle, because it is a slave to memory. Memories must be strictly managed, Alice. Unproductive ones must be eliminated. And that was Dr. Bambi, the director of the orphanage where Alice is working, and also Alice's therapist. I really like the jumping system in this game. It's so much better than American McGee's Alice. Double, triple, quadruple jump, but also we can float. And I love the floating animation. Ah, I see a bottle over there. That's an artwork. Dr. Bambi's line of uh, therapy is forget. Forget all the memories that are hurtful for you. I know that this line is really not good, at least in modern psychology, because it can really mess up your head your memories, obviously, but maybe back then it was probably much more used. Look who's there! That is the Duchess, the first boss of American McGee's Alice, and let's see if she has learned her manners. Ah, it's you again, Alice. You may approach. Why would I do that? You want to eat me? Yes, well, you taught me manners, hm. and I've lost my taste for mad women. Strictly a porcine diet for me. Everything's better with bacon, don't you agree? Of course you do. I'm vegetarian. Now, there are pig snouts scattered about. I heard a few behind the house. Go fetch them for me. But take care for the pests that block your way. Pepper them up if they do. They need spice. And you're just the dish, a girl, to season them for me. You'll find that grinder serviceable. Why not season your own pig parts? Matter of priorities. My alabaster skin needs protection from the disgusting creatures running amok amidst the environs. But one gets peckish. Look, all you have to do is listen for the oink, then shoot the snout. You may like the results. I certainly will. Uh, first of all, Duchess, uh, my skin is much more alabaster than yours, so how dare you. Second of all, I understand uh, that you might see Alice as a snack, but I suggest you, just like I am doing, to refrain. Because if I have to refrain, you have to refrain. You are not allowed. Second weapon of the game. The Duchess's Pepper Grinder. Piglet Edition. 
spice up your foes. All right, I'm also offended because uh, in American Mickey's Alice, not only you try to eat me, but you also try it. Oh, well, I absolutely do nothing to her. You also use this pepper grinder to try and spice Alice, as if Alice isn't spicy enough. But as I said, I will refrain. New enemies. Butterflies. We can use the pepper grinder to destroy them, and then the blade to destroy their nest. Now, uh, uh, better evade a little bit. If you're conflicted about the butterflies, they're not that strong, but they will be annoying when there will be many enemies. You know, the, the small annoying minions that trap you and deal a little bit of damage. But also the fact that they are insects, and therefore I hate them, but they're also mechanical parts and they look rather steampunkish, which makes me like them. Aha! Uh -huh. You land and I destroyed it immediately. The fights can be a bit repetitive, so I will uh, cut some parts. Also the pepper grinder, after uh, upgrading it, it will become much faster, and especially it won't overheat that much, because if you see up there... Ah! More! If I shoot too much with the pepper grinder, it will overheat and it will become useless for a few seconds. Ah, snouts! These are flying pig noses that if you shoot, something will happen. You don't know what, but something will happen. In this case, it's one that the Duchess wants. I'm glad we taught you manners in American McGee's Alice by making your head blow up. Now, I used to call this uh, pig snouts Gronko, as the dragon in How to Train Your Dragon. <laughs> because they remind me of that very chunk dragon. You are welcome, Duchess. Uh, not very common that in Wonderland there is an enemy that becomes, you know, an ally or anyway, a neutral character. Thank you so much for the snout. Now go away. See how it is. Wonderland works uh, in a way of its own. We defeated the Duchess as a boss battle in American McGee's Alice. Here she is again. We defeated the Jabberwook two times. He vanished into nothing. So I collected that basket of teeth and now I'll be on my way. But first, uh, spice you up, you disgusting ogre. Those are not my words. Those are Alice's words, by the way, in American McGee's Alice. Thinking that they're not spicy enough. The Duchess is obsessed with pigs. Even has a pig son, according to the story. And another one of the pigs now. It's Pepper you up very good. I like the cinematic view of the pepper flying. Another fight immediately. They really love their fights here. A nest almost landed on me. Let me just go down. I saw these spawning right beside me. Oh no. Butterflies, listen, I studied mechanics. I know how to deal with you. On the other hand, I'm terribly terrified of the terrible insects, and therefore. I hate having to do anything with you. Okay, let's go face them up here. But, spoiler alert, uh, the butterflies will be the biggest insects of this game, which means that it's great for me. Ow! He punched me, he bitch slapped me. How dare you, disgusting wretched thing. If I see a stain on my clothes that is not a blood stain, uh, you will see. Ah, it's up there, that's why I wasn't seeing it. Ah, it's overheating. Would be cool if when it overheats, Alice sneezes. <laughs> because Pepper goes everywhere. Nice. Keep an ear out for snouts. Hey, rainbow shells, very pretty. Now, I seem to remember that here there is a secret. Ah, you see, behind that rock, there is a keyhole. Now, I will find many of these uh, during the game. As you can see, it's a bottle, so it's artwork or extras that you can see in the menu. When it will be a memory, I will keep it in the video. From now on, when it will be a bottle, unless I'm talking about something important, I will just cut it. There are plenty of playthroughs uh, to show you where the bottles are. Here's the pig's snout. What will you give me? Probably a platform, yeah, those domino platforms. In America, Maggie's Alice parkouring was terrible because Alice uh, always slid everywhere she had slick tires finish your suit girls bovine juveniles gave their all for it 
that Alice's nanny was some sort of a maid. Alice's family was rather rich. Well, I hope she wasn't talking about the mock turtle. Here it is, it's a snow globe of the mock turtle. What does it say? The mock turtle lost at sea. No, poor him. In America McGee's Alice, the mock turtle gives us uh, the turtle shell to breathe better underwater. Luckily, there won't be underwater parts in this game. Ah, uh, here we start, huh? Another crying statue of Alice. This time, it's not water, it's ruins. This black liquid that I used to call shit. Now, there are many over there, so let me just bring out my pepper grinder. There we go. How dare you dirty my veil. Dirty my statue? That's outrageous towards Queen Alice. Get out of my face, shit doll. Face your doom. Oh, more ruins. All right, they can hide even inside shells and items. Ah. Where do you think you're going? Come here. That platform looks suspicious. Ah, bouncy mushroom. And we go to a keyhole. Let's see. Bottle and golden teeth that are worth five. Well, Alice, let's enjoy for a few more seconds our beautiful veil of tears because, unfortunately, it won't last long. Seems like the sky is getting red and getting filled by smoke from a nearby fire, but it's not a nearby fire. It's this. There are some sort of uh, jets of uh, shit, maybe. <laughs> it's probably ruins. Uh, it's the material that is corrupting our beautiful wonderland. How dare you. Oh. Well, first of all, let's be careful not to have that on our dress. First, because it's a beautiful dress. Second, because it's disgusting and gross. These things have some pipes uh, in them, some exhaust system in them. Before attacking, they even press on the throttle. Pedal to the metal. Deja vu around uh, to be able to bitch slap me. Yeah, your Irish dancing is not impressing me. <laughs> he thought he could defeat me. Granny shifting, no double clutching like he should. Get out of here. Alice is too fast and too furious for you. The railway running through Wonderland sounds charming, but inefficient. Noise and smoke, like steps and snails, perhaps. Best to forget that train. A mock turtle's conductor. Oh, no, I don't think that will do at all. In the books, the mock turtle was a train conductor. Conductor of uh, the train that passed through Wonderland. But already in American McGee's Alice, uh, that wasn't the case anymore. Everything is kind of falling apart, huh? Ah, I see you again. Are you behind all of this? And of course, she will disappear right before a big fight. It's time to make you understand who is in charge around here. Clearly, you don't know the custom traditions of... Ah! How dare you? The custom traditions of dying in front of me. Uh, is there any... Ah, yes, bouncy mushroom. And I can come up here, safe from the ruins, and then deal with the butterflies in their nest. Easy. Oh, two little remnants. There they are. It's over, shit dolls, I have the high ground. It's best that you understand that the more you ruin my beautiful and peaceful Veil of Tears, the more Alice becomes less peaceful. The more you brutally ruin the landscape, the more I become brutal. And sometimes I use I, sometimes I use Alice. We are a bit interchangeable. There is only a blurred line between me and Alice while playing these games. Hey, it's our ribbon. <laughs> It's a bit weird that we're talking with our back ribbon. If we gather our pearly whites, meaning the teeth, we can upgrade a weapon, and indeed we have enough for the level 2 of the Vorpal Blade. Nice. Next step is 475 for the Pepper Grinder. More destruction. Hatter always hated mechanical malfunctions. This disaster is either his doing or his epitaph. Hmm. <laughs> the chapter is called Hatter's Domain. 
So it's useless that I try to hide from you who we will meet eventually. Veil of Tears Looking Glass Railway. Uh, looks like it's just a shell of a train station right now. Well, I'm going to end this episode here. It's not the prettiest of places, but next time we will actually get to the Mad Hatter domain and see if we will already meet the Hatter or and if he will be good or bad in this instance of Alice's adventure. So I surrounded by freaks here with Alice. I will see you next time. Bye.